<laughs> hey, this is it. This is the remaster. Folks, man, this looks incredible. We've been talking about it, and now it's here. Yeah. Here I'm just showing off. You can toggle between the original and remastered graphics at any time. Just by hitting F5. Wow. Uh, can I be the first to say, all the StarCrafts are here. All the, yep. Yep, they sh uh, and that'll be the only time we refer to that meme because yep. Trevor's already tired of it. Yep. Here I'm showing off, uh, you can do custom hotkeys. This is really incredible, and I'm going to point out, I'm going to select the wrong thing several times. <laughs> I'm looking for Oh, the, uh, so yeah, Ben uh, pre-recorded this. Post-commentary. Yeah, yeah, Post-commentary. Yeah, I'm looking for the hotkey. Oh, I'm looking for... Yeah, the Overlord, uh, which I had to reach all the way across the keyboard to hit O for, is now on V. Nice, comfy, very close to all my other hotkeys. Excellent. And I'm very happy about that, so. And now I'm going in. And uh, let's, let's jump into the next mission. We all remember what was happening, right? I don't, but um, do you really play StarCraft for the story? A lot of people, I do. People have a lot of nostalgia for the story, and I don't see it. But that sweet, sweet gameplay is aged like wine. Fine wine? Uh, well, it starts as wine and then it becomes fine. I'm ready for these graphs. I don't show it off in this video, but uh, you can, you know, at this time, you can switch between original graphics as well. Where's Waifu? Uh, she, she is in this mission. Yep. I don't know if she speaks before this. You really shouldn't take any orders from the eyeball. Yeah, especially a, uh, just an evil looking one. It's pretty cool. Uh, so essentially this mission that, uh, I'm very bored, clearly. I just want to alert, uh, everyone to how Ben used the bathroom behind us and somehow broke the toilet. Uh, no. That sound is completely normal. And the fact that it's lasting for five minutes is great. So anyway, the story is, I think in the last mission, we, or something happened, and uh, we found out where the Protoss live, and now we're going to do a home invasion on them. Uh, the briefing. So, basically, there's... This looks pretty good. Yep. Except it didn't record in base 60 minutes. I... I actually was having trouble recording this. Um, it was your uh, computer just dying? Yeah, it like I, f I felt like I was getting more input lag than I would have, uh, you know, recording the base game. But you know, switch like obviously toggling the graphics mode in game wouldn't do anything because it's still the same engine and everything. It's just displaying different graphics. But uh, anyway, so the story here is that uh, we have to prevent the. Protoss, any Protoss from reaching like any of the three corners of the maps. And uh, some of them are close. Hey, so Spencer fixed the toilet? Yeah, Spencer fixed the toilet. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to cheese this a little bit. Um, I'm going to grab some Mutalisks and the mission ends when you kill both of the enemy uh, Nexuses. So gonna go ahead and try to snipe those. And I don't do it super fast, but uh, it's just uh, extremely impossible. Well, not impossible, but it's annoying to do with ground units because they've got a lot of Reavers, and they are my most hated unit of all time. They're awful, and I hate them so much. But anyway, so you got, you see we got these three different bases, so I'm building up a lot of drones. You can boom really easily, so the, just building up a solid econ. I'm going to show off uh, some... Uh, I'm, it, it's, a, it's baby's version of Mutalist Micro, and a, a hot little tip I'll show later on how to control your Mutalists like a pro. 
uh, but way less uh, as good. So as this is that. kind of funny. I'm noticing how this is recording. Uh, MacBook Pros, which is what Ben played this on, yeah. is uh, 16 by 10. Yeah. And uh, we're recording at 16 by 9, so uh, we have little black bars on both sides. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah, that is interesting. But wow. 16 by 10 is objectively uh, superior, but almost nothing uses it for some reason. And here we see Sweet Micro. Look at that. Incredible. Oh, baby. Save to Hydra. So, yeah, uh, this is pretty much just like the uh, building up phase. Uh, so, yeah, like I said, there's these three lanes. Uh, the Protoss are going to try to, you know, get past us. Uh, they really don't try very hard. It's actually very easy. These missions are like, uh, they're pretty easy, like, in themselves, but it's, like, doing them fast, which is what I'm trying to do, uh, because it would just be way too boring otherwise. Uh, doing them fast is difficult, and now because I have some downtime, uh, you're supposed to keep your overlords on those little, uh, brown beacons, and, uh, when you don't have them there, they yell at you. And they're like, hey, some of these enemies are cloaked, you, you can't let them pass. Ben, let me ask you a question. Uh, is Warcraft and Starcraft in the same universe? In yes. Of lore? They are thousands of years apart. So years eventually... Apart. Wait, I guess Warcraft doesn't take place on... Like, wait, that means that whatever happened in Warcraft doesn't matter? No, I'm... No, they're... they're I'm, I'm Josh, and they're different Space universes. Space just killing all the Warcraft guys. Wow. Rude. Rude. That would be cool if the Zerg had no enemies and they just took over everything. Yeah. But yes, instead, that would be good! But instead they have uh, two uh, roughly equivalent, uh, you know, races to uh, compete with for resources and uh, influence in the... The humans have no chance. Why do you need more overlords for the minions? How many, how many, the hive mind. How many uh, minions can an overlord have? Oh, I should know this, like, offhand. It's not ten. It's like, uh, like, eight or nine. Oh, huh. so off. I can't believe it's ten. It's not ten. Oh, my gosh. If it was eight or nine, why would it not be ten, though? What's the point? Balance. Yep, it's all about balance. Uh, yeah, there's a... And also something I didn't realize until I did, like, this very recording. Uh, I practiced this a couple times, and uh, I didn't realize there's actually a base up here that's connected by land. Uh, and I'll find it shortly. There's a Zergling heading there right now. And he's gonna get shot to hell. Yeah, he's dead. But there's a base there, and I didn't, I didn't realize that. Thank you, base Zergling that got killed. Yeah. You did it for the greater good. Um, I'm doing I'm doing this little maneuver. I'm doing it way too early, and he's carrying minerals, and I don't want that. So put your put your minerals away. I'm putting this guy in jail. He's he has been working as hard as he should be, and uh, he's a bad kid. He's a bad drone. So he's in the doghouse, and he's never getting out because he can't fit out any of those holes. Rip. Yep. So, okay. bad guy. Why? You'll see in a little bit, okay. but, um, yeah, he's just been, he's just been, uh, bad. <laughs> oh, boy. The overlords are... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, as someone who plays this game, uh, very often, you just kind of tune that out. Uh, so, I tune this out, but you're gonna hear it a lot. Because you can't tune it out. No, I love it! I just wanted to hear the base story, which we talked over. Yeah, we did talk over it, uh, but we're preparing to go assault the, the Protoss home. Oh, oh, I see. Evolution chamber. Where's Kerrigan? Oh, she is in the uh, top right lane. And I believe I do. I use her once, and I never use it for her again. Because I'm not very good at microing Kerrigan or using any of her abilities. For a while there, you were sitting at 130 actions per minute. Now you're down to 80. Yeah, I'm very bad at this. I'm actually bad at this game, so. 
The more I watch other people play, the more I realize how bad I am. Do you get any, like, tips from watching them? I do a little bit, and I mean, then I do never... do you only watch the top two people that do, like, 500 actions per minute? No. I was watching, like, uh, some, some speedrunners who, like, aren't, you know... I mean, they're good at the game. They know how to exploit it, but they're not, like, uh, you know, good competitive, or their mechanics aren't, like, on the same level as a pro player, so, um, I was watching, uh, Mr. Llama, he runs, uh, StarCraft, I actually got, um, like, the idea for this strat from him, and, uh, next mission when I do that, I'll, uh, I'll be using the strat he uses in his run as well. Uh, once I go oh, this is a pretty small map. Yeah, like... so I'm showing off uh, why I have that drone in there. When you have a group of units in a certain area, they'll fly, like, they'll keep formation as they fly, but if you have, like, uh, if you keep that drone in and it's far away, they actually, like, group up together. So, basically, like, uh, just having that drone there so he's trapped and he can't move, like, he when I'm moving my mutalisks around, it, it keeps them better together. So I'm able to uh, move around and uh, maneuver more effectively with them. The, uh, Otherwise... The toss. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, look at those expert specs. Yeah, and then I run into a lot of scouts, and scouts... They're great anti-air. Uh, they actually shred mutalisks, but... Um, Really bad against ground units. And here is the part you've been waiting for. Kerrigan gets her yes! uh, a, a single Psy Storm off. And then uh, never gets used again. Just sits on that beacon. And I think by attacking Teal's base, I trigger some sort of attack here. So I'm actually. Uh, and this never happens. So uh, I was pretty concerned at this point that uh, I was actually going to lose because uh, Teal was going to slip by me. Uh, because I've never actually had that happen. And then they waste a lot of time, but thankfully I have an overlord right there. And they're actually heading towards the top right. Because they're actually... Uh, they're looking to fight these mutalists that they saw harassing the base. Uh, it's kind of weird, but whatever. Like, uh, they, they typically never attack uh, the bottom right like that. Uh, oh yeah, in the beginning, uh, it did explain that Nidus Canals, uh, which are those, like, little glowing, uh, uh, little, little cavern-looking things, uh, they transport units instantly from one exit to another, like literally across the map, so it's pretty good uh, if you got some of those set up. Town portal? Basically. Woo! So, I use those to quickly like uh, move troops around as needed. And uh, I believe the speedrun strat is to get, uh, I don't know how many it was, probably about as much as I have now, but I'm not a speedrunner and I've I do want to get it done, like, pretty quickly, but I'm getting a lot of extra Zerglings I don't need. Just trying to play it cautious, because, uh, uh, I did feel like I almost lost there, because, uh, the AI, the AI acted in a I'm way that say, I hadn't seen it. Based on the strats that you're using, and the objective you have to accomplish, this will take you about 25 minutes. Uh, yeah, uh, I believe... In game time, it takes about 19 minutes and 38 seconds. Uh, Speed run! More like... Slow run! What that crystal do to you? Uh, slow it, walk! It's blocking my hatchery. Uh, spoiler, I plant a hatchery there and never use it. Nice, that's my favorite kind yeah, of hatchery. Absolutely bad, yeah. <laughs> But I was, I was just, you know, putting it there in case I needed it, in case, like, uh, for whatever oh. reason, something went awry. Did the remaster of it, can you only select 12 units at a time? Yeah. They didn't change that, okay. Yeah, they didn't change that because, uh... Did they change anything in terms of balance, or did they, like, keep it strictly the same? It's the exact same. Like, everything is the same. They might have fixed one... 
bug, one long-standing bug with, um, with, like, a, a single unit, which was preventing it from working the way it was supposed to. Um, I don't think any, I, I still think nobody uses that unit. So what I'm doing here is, uh, I'm trying to make guardians here. Which are the long uh, siege, long range siege uh, air units, more for the mutalisks. So basically, I wait until I have a bunch of low health mutalisks, and then I morph them uh, into guardians. Uh, it takes a little bit of time, but uh, when they come out, they're actually at full health. And also, the AI doesn't target them, like when they morph. Um, if they've got, you know, other units. Here I start to send some drones over, and yeah, yeah. And now I lose a bunch of guardians I don't need to. They're very expensive, so that's very bad. But yeah, my mission is to get that nexus there. So I'm just gonna do it in kind of the safest way I possibly can. Uh, also, I'm constantly sending my mutalisks, my very expensive mutalisks, into the, uh, straight into danger, because I'm very bad at this game. There we go. Uh, there is a second base in the bottom left, which usually gives me a ton of trouble. I don't think it did this time, but, uh, I usually take care of this one first, just because it's right here. Are those mutalisks just, like, long-range shooters? The, 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 uh, crab-looking things? Yeah. Yes, they are long range siege kind of things. Uh, here we've got some uh, story. This happens when you uh, beat the or destroy the first nexus. Um, I hate the dialogue, it's really bad. You seem overconfident of your abilities, Dark One. I am no helpless servant. Nergen is not his waifu in this version. Yeah, they updated the portraits. Yeah, so the dialogue is really bad. If you have any nostalgia for this campaign and like the story or anything about anything about this, really. Oh crap! You're uh, destroying them. Yeah. Well, Why are you cheating? I'm showing off the uh, menu. Um, what what am I looking for? Oh yeah, I noticed uh, the input lag and I was looking for graphics options. And look at all these options they've got now. <laughs> they've got a... Uh... Shadow stack. Wow. <laughs> Why didn't you turn off HD graphics? Uh, because that is actually the same thing as pressing F5, which it just sets it to like the original graphics. We're playing remastered for a reason, so... Yeah. Also... Yeah, every time I have to uh, deselect a unit from a control group, I have to look at if it's shift or control. So that was... Oh, they're called Berserk. Yeah, they're Guardians. Where's the Beatles? They are the the other ones. Oh, okay. oh wait, no, I used Kerrigan twice. Sorry. Unforgivable. Thank you, Base Ben. Yeah, look at the... The Mutalists are the bat-looking things. I guess bat-looking things would be the best descriptor for them. But here I am heading over towards the bottom left base. Uh, here I'm demonstrating like an issue where I'm like selecting these mutalisks with the control group, but the camera's like being weird and not focusing on them because I think they're too close to the edge of the map. So that's fun. Okay. And then we're just preparing for that final assault, that classic fun- oh, wait, hold on, distracted. You know, honestly, with the way that this is coming out, I think that you're probably gonna win this at maybe 19 minutes, 40 seconds, something like that. Uh, I think I'll be a little faster than that. I think I'd say to the tune of two seconds faster. Oh, well, I'm no master like you. So, yeah. That was just a, it's just a guess, you know? You try. So we got a little bit going on here. Sending these guardians in. You can you will see my bad control uh, shortly as I let. Right. Oh what wow! The Zergs, red and purple, or the the I forget what they're called. 
Protoss. The Protoss gold and uh, like cobalt. Which I... parts do you like better? Well, in the campaigns, for whatever reason, they always use the same colors, but um. Oh, do they like shift? Like they shift yeah, in, mul in multiplayer, they've got like uh, you know all, all manner of colors. Anything in that dang old rainbow, you can play as it in uh, multiplayer. But for some reason, you can't select it manually. It just assigns you a color randomly. Anyway, I like light blue, which is a uh, you know not quite this blue, but a little lighter. Uh, so I pretty much got this in the bag. Guardians are parked under. Um, there are two High Templar who never end up using Psy Storm on me. So this is the end of the mission. But so two and a half minutes uh, So this was something that uh, when I when I was uh, watching like uh, Mr. Lama's uh, speed run. It was something he kept saying he was worried about, which was like Protoss making uh, like another base. Like they, like one of them would remake their base. So <laughs> I like that single guy. Okay. So here I'm really confused. I'm looking for any yes, extra bases. Sorry. I'm like, uh, what's going on? You need to kill all the nexuses. So there's clearly they built something somewhere. I just don't know where. Looking down there. Oh, no. And uh I mean I'm running out of money. I've got I'm just running around trying to figure out what's going on with these guys. And uh you know, because usually oh, what is that? That's an archon. Are they good? They're really good. If I fly a uh if I fly a Mutalisk near an Archon, like, that thing gets fried immediately. Uh, I start sending these drones to uh, mine for no reason, because pretty much got this in the bag. I just don't know where this last base is. Uh, I'm camping basically all the mineral spots, so, like, they can't... Like, I just don't know where they are. Uh, Mr. Lama, like, he's, like I said, he, he said, you know, sometimes they make an extra base, and I'm, I'm, I've never seen this in, like, all my practice sessions. But, uh, and there's my first clue, uh, which is I see the probes carrying minerals somewhere. So, I just look over here, and they have planted a nexus in the middle of nowhere. So, yeah, uh, that was really surprising, never happened to me. Uh, of course happened when I would record, uh, as soon as I started recording, so there's that. So I start making some more units. I kind of got lazy about that because, uh, well, I thought I was done. But it'll just be over. I send all of these guys, uh, not these, I feel too lazy to send these over. Uh, but all I have to do is kill that Nexus, and then it's it's actually over. It's done. It's a done deal. And I'm certainly not going to run into any foibles uh, when I'm trying to get this guy. I'm trying to destroy this. Except they seem to have a lot of units. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Four, three, two, one, yeah! Oh, I guess I did. Oh. Oh. Oh, it's 48. 48, not 38. Wow! Rude. Why does she call herself the Queen of Blades? Uh. Because the guys in the Blizzard office at the time, they were like, wouldn't it be cool? This sounds cool. Yeah. Whoa, those HD graphs of that. Yeah, I uh, actually do really like the uh, updated... That, that screen, particularly. That screen! And here we've got, um... Just the same cinematic... Oh. 
They haven't updated the graphics for these at all. Lazy. And uh, actually, this introduces uh, a question I have, which is uh, how to Zerg uh, fly across the galaxy. Uh, okay, so they just make a wormhole. And they just uh, kind of float through. Nice. So the fact that the space is a vacuum and it would, like, try to rip anything apart doesn't affect them for some reason. Uh, another thing about the HD remaster is, uh, they changed, like, the, the, like, previously they were just screens with, uh, you know, a bunch of stars in the background and green text over it. They actually, like, add art to it. So that's pretty nice. Neat. Kerrigan says, hey. Base Mary Sue. And uh, you give ample time to read. There's that wormhole again. I guess the Overmind's doing it. Why is Kerrigan evil? Uh, it's just, you know, it's the Overmind. It's the influence of the Overmind. I don't like it. She should have been more strong with And then uh, here's the start of the next thing. And then I scramble to turn off the recording. Yay! Hey, we'll see you next time for more StarCraft HD Remastered Action. Ben, take us out! Alright. I'll do the last two missions next time. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna do next two.